What's up everybody, AJ Levy here with Upnexa. Thank you for t uh, checking out today's YouTube video. In today's video, we're gonna be diving into how to add inventory into your Clover device. Now, business owners, before we get into that, I wanna stop you right here. If you don't have a Clover station, but you have another one of the Clover devices, such as the Clover Mini or the Clover Flex, stay right here. The Clover Mini, the Clover Station, and the Clover Flex all operate within the same steps. It's just a matter of size and versatility for each system that differs. Meaning that whatever you can do on your Clover Station, you can also do on your Clover Mini and Clover Flex. This is about size of display, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and dive in into adding inventory and managing your inventory on your Clover POS. Alrighty. So, like always, you're going to start at your main screen on your Clover device. All the Clover devices, like said before, are all very, very similar. The layout is the same, it's just the size that really differs between the devices. So when you're looking to add, edit, or manage your inventory, you're going to want to go, self-explanatory, right? Right into your inventory app. You can see right here, this is your inventory app. We're going to go ahead and select it. So now with this device, this device already has inventory placed in there. You can see the first section that comes up is items. Those are just for all your individual items. If you just want to list them, you know, machine gun style, just, you know, put in inventory, put in your whole menu and then worry about the categories later. Now you can also see there's a section for your categories. Now, if we scroll down, you can see on the bottom here, the category name is, for example, pizza. And within the category is your items. For this specific section, we added a plain slice, a chicken parm slice, and a grandma slice, totaling of a total of three items. So now you can keep track of how many items you have in each category so it doesn't get overloaded and you don't have to keep scrolling through looking for a specific item. And then, of course, the next section would be your modifiers. Modifiers, you would have your modifier name, which is sides. And the sides that entail would be tomato, onions, and fries. Then you can see, you can pick up to three sides or two sides or no sides, depending on the item and depending on the business. Now you can also see another modifier category name would be temp for temperature. That would be uh, applicable for steaks, um, how the customer wants the steaks to be cooked. You can see the modifiers within that category would be medium rare, medium well, and it is not going to be required. Now, the nice part about the Clover is it's going to prompt you each time for required, not required, if it is required, how many sides or items or different modifiers each customer can get as per a specific item, but we're not going to get into all of that now. That'll be for a more detailed video. Also, on your inventory app, you can see that we have labels. In Clover language, labels is what item or section or category would print out to what printer. So let's say you're a bar and grill and you have one kitchen printer for all your foods and you have a printer at the bar for your drinks. You would just simply go into each item, let's say a uh, filet mignon, okay? Now you can see when you select the filet mignon, you can see we put the item name in, we put the price, you can put in the cost of the item so you can track your P&L and your product code. But let's get into the labels. So you can see there's a section here that says labels. You would simply select that option. And if you have a kitchen printer, if it is applicable to you, you will see an option come up here that says kitchen printer or bar printer. You will now be able to select that flaming young gets sent out over to the kitchen printer rather than the bar printer. And you can do that for each and every single item on your menu, which is a beautiful feature from Clover. Now, let's start with adding a category into your menu for your Clover device. Now, very nice and easy to use. There's a green circle on the bottom right side of your screen. We're going to hit that and we're going to add a category. Let's say the category is burgers. You would simply type in burgers. Nice big screen, nice and easy to see. Select done. Now you have your burgers category. Okay, 
Now we're gonna simply go ahead and click the green plus arrow at the bottom right side of your screen again, and we're gonna add the type of burger. Let's try just an average cheeseburger. We're gonna type in the name there. Now we're gonna go select over to price, and we'll make that burger $10, okay? That green arrow will take you to the next section, or you can just scroll down if you don't want to put in your item cost. Now, modifiers. You would go in and select the modifier section, and you can see which modifiers you have in there preset. So let's say this burger com comes with sides. We want that modifier to pop up. Now also, we want the temperature on which the burger will be cooked to pop up as well when your employee or yourself is typing in the order. We'll go ahead and hit save and save again. So now you can see we just put it in there. So let's hit the circle, which is your home button. And now let's go over to your register. Now, when we're at the register, you can see you scroll down to the bottom and you can see burgers was just added. We select the burger category, which is here. We select the burger the customer would like to order. And now, swiftly and easily, your modifiers pop up. So let's say the person wants fries and tomatoes. Now, the next modifier that pops up would be your temperature. Medium rare, medium well. Me personally, I like my burgers medium rare, so I'm gonna select that there and go ahead and select done. Now to send this order out to the kitchen, just like you've seen in our previous video, you would go ahead and hit save, and now the order clears out of your, out of your register and gets automatically sent over to the kitchen. Now we go over to orders in your main screen of the system. We already have an order popped up there. So now we would find that specific order. You can see that it is labeled as open. Select that order. Now you can add payment, reopen the order to add something or edit it, or combine the order with another one if they you know, decided that they wanna pay all together. So that's simply adding inventory and you can see how fast it populated into your Clover register. Nice and easy to use. If you have any questions, Please see the next slide. Thank you so much for watching today's video on how to add, edit, and see where your inventory goes when you add it to your Clover system. Now you can see how nice and easy and fast it was. You simply make a category, put the items that go in that category, add any modifiers, and select which printer it shoots out to. Now, once you get good at this, you know, you'll be doing it faster and faster, but you always wanna make sure that you add the pricing correctly and the item cost if that applies to you if you like to track your P&L. Again, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or would like some more information on the Clover systems or any other devices that Upnexa offers, right here is all of our contact information. Thank you.